Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Let's start with creating a new composition, name it as smoke. For this project I will keep the time duration to 6 seconds. You can set the time according to your requirement, remaining everything will be same. Now create a new solid layer, name it as background smoke. For this layer, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to the smoke layer. For fractal noise, set the brightness to, minus 20. In transform, change scale value to, 275. Here you can create keyframe for offset turbulence, or add an expression. For this demonstration, we will add an expression for offset, while pressing alt key, click on the stopwatch of offset turbulence. Enter the expression as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's add time expression for evolution, while pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of evolution. Enter expression, time, 200. Perfect. Now for this background smoke layer, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to smoke layer. For box blur, set blur radius to, 3, set iteration to, 5. Select repeat edge pixels. Now let's create duplicate of this background noise smoke, press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. For this duplicate layer, change mode to, overlay. For this layer, we will remove the previously added expression for offset, and add new one, in transform, click on the stopwatch of offset turbulence. This will remove previous expression, now while pressing alt key, click on stopwatch of offset. Now add, plus 1000. For this smoke layer, press T to bring up opacity, set opacity to. 45%. You can see the preview. Now select both layers, pre-compose them. Name it as Fractal Smoke. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Smoke Color. For this layer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the color layer. Here you need to set the color as shown. Now create duplicate of this solid layer. Place it below the fractal smoke composition. For fractal smoke, change track mat to, luma mat smoke color. Perfect. Now for this fractal smoke, in effects and preset, search for turbulent displace, add it to the fractal smoke composition. For turbulent displace, change amount to, 25. Change size to, 200. Let's add expression for evolution. While pressing alt key, click on stopwatch of evolution. Enter expression, time, 15. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as color. In effects and preset. Search for fill, add it to the solid layer. 
Here you can set any color of your choice for smoke. Set opacity to 5%. Now create a new adjustment layer. Select ellipse tool. Now double click on the ellipse tool to create mask for adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. For mask 1, set mask feather to 500. Mask expansion value to minus 200. Select invert. Now again create a new adjustment layer. Add curves to this adjustment layer. Adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now search for noise. Add noise to adjustment layer. Set amount of noise to 5%. Here if you want you can slightly increase the noise amount according to your project. For adjustment layer 1, I will slightly adjust the curve, to get more dark effect. Now let's add the cinematic frame, create a new solid. Name it as frame, make sure color is set to black. Or you can add fill effect to the solid layer. Now select the rectangle tool. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, change mask path, change unit to percent of source, set top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the preview. Here our cinematic smoke effect is created, you can use this for any project of your choice. If you want to have a dark shade of this background then, you need to make slight color changes for smoke color layer. You can see the preview. If you want to change the smoke color then, set any color of your choice here. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, if you have any more requests for any special effect, then let me know in the comment section, I will try to make tutorial on it, as soon as possible.